Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean from Team Trammel RC again, and uh, I'm gonna do a review on the uh, Low C Triple X SCT. This was the uh, roller chassis, and uh, I finally got it done. As far as of right now, it feels like a really nice truck, but I'm not gonna be able to really put that to the test until. Uh, this Friday, if you're watching this video, it comes out, or a couple days after it comes out. Um, but so far, this feels like a really nice truck. And most of my, most of my subscribers, I know it's kind of glary with this competition orange, but I really like my body. I painted it myself. I really think I did good, and if you think I did good, please like this video or send me a message because I think it's freaking awesome dude for real hold on let me see if I can get some of the I even did the flames on both sides I don't know if you've seen it or not but all right but back to what this video is about okay for my review I'm gonna do two or three parts I'm either gonna do a before run review and after run review or I'm going to do a before run review, a uh, some running videos, and then an after run review. I'm not sure, but I'll probably just do a before and after, and if I feel like it, throw some running videos into it. But, uh, okay, let's get the body off. They they really pre-cut this thing nicely. I mean, it's like the pins, like the body holes right here are like just made perfectly for this. So there's like no body play at all. But there's not really much to talk about mainly right now because it was a roller, so there was no electronics on it, so I can't really say a whole whole lot but I'll get as much as I can in here all right first off let's go to the tires the tires feel pretty nice uh, from what I heard they are the blue compound eclipses but uh, they feel really nice I like them I really like them but the only thing is if you're looking like if you got tires like I do they're all 12 millimeter hex Inside here, the inside the hub is actually the uh, ball bearing, which this whole vehicle runs on ball bearings as far as I know. Maybe a couple spots, I don't know, don't run on it, but pretty sure it all runs on it. Uh, the body was clear, as you know. Uh, the shocks are aluminum, and you have a little, it's not like a threaded shock body, but it's like a little set screw. You pull that out. And like you can move this, or you unscrew it a little bit and move this like they come stock from the factory right here. I think they mainly come like this from the factory because they use two front springs instead of using a full blown back spring. But uh, yeah. But I do like the shock setup on this from the start because it feels really nice. It's much nice, nicer than what you think it is and I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video but most of my most of people that have seen my videos or have uh, subscribed to me uh, if you watch that update video I made you know what I did with the torment which this is all my electronics that was in my torment but I will still make be making videos on the torment mainly because I gave it to my dad so yeah, let's get back on subject. But the chassis is not like a super brittle plastic, but it's like kind of flexible, which is it's just basically what you want. Not like super flexible, like you can bend it 90 degrees and it not break. But the battery tray comes with five sp foam spacers, which I only use three. But, uh, you also have this little body clip to hold, I'm just going to set that there for now, to hold your battery down. You don't need to know what battery I'm running, because I will make a 
setup video later. And if you want to know what my old setup was, just check it out on my uh, YouTube channel. Let me get this back down and we can continue to the rest of the truck. I know I forget it. Just, 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 just leave it there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, the gearbox. I'm not sure what's in that. Oh yeah. I also like that they're using these little covers to cover the uh, steering servo wire, and the, they got one up here for the ESC throttle wire. I really like that. Protect not only protects your. Uh, wires but kind of keeps them from like shaking around and making a whole bunch of noise and everything the uh steering it looks like it'll handle pretty good because i mean let me turn it here if uh you're looking at it that's straight and if this it has gone this far when i use the radio so do not say i'm turning it too much because i'm not I've turned it this far with the radio, but it goes that far pretty much. So, I really like that. I might have some really good handling on my new, on my uh, track. And this Saturday, if you live in Louisville, Kentucky like I do, um, Local Joe 3.0 Round 3, I believe, is this Saturday. So, if you live here in Louisville... It'd be awesome if you come up to that. It's a, it's at SRR Raceway. Uh, but so far, this is just going to be a short video because, like I said, I have not run it yet. This is initial or before run review. Um, oh, yeah. I like the bumpers. I really like that. And there's also a little hinge down there. It, it, I mean, what they're saying it's for is like if you break the shock tower... You can just take this off and fold it down and get it out of the way. But it also, like, soaks up some of the bumps, too. Like, it bends without bending, like, the lower chassis. It just bends it like that. So, they also got this big brace holding the bumper on, which I really like. Um, your steering servo goes in here. You can use whatever servo you want if you get the rolling chassis. Um... The I am actually really surprised at how accurate this back bumper looks to a real short course truck. Because I've seen some real ones in real life, and this is almost, well, yeah, it's almost exactly like a real short course bumper, like, in all ways. Except for the motor being right there. That That's not realistic, but this is RC, so you can't really, you know, have engines up here unless you're using like a nitro or a 5t or something but as of right now i really like this truck and if you are thinking about buying this truck i would personally wait till my after run review just to let you all know and make sure it's really good which i've heard it's really good so yeah if you like this video, I would really appreciate you uh, liking it or commenting, saying something good. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if somebody says something bad about my videos, I, I usually just delete the comment. I don't uh, just let people sit here and get on me about my videos, like how, yeah. But, yeah, if you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be, I want to say Saturday, because, or Friday, yeah, probably be Friday, because uh, practice for Local Joe will be uh, up there, and uh, yeah, so see you guys later.